Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how to do some really small, tight, basic branching. And that's a really great skill to learn for when we go out to do the larger kind of garden branching and add some beautiful flowers and feathers and ferns and whatnot to our quilting. So I'm going to show you how to do some real basic branching how to backtrack, how to make it look random, and I'm going to do it on my Elna 6600 sewing machine, and I don't have an extended table for that yet, so that should be interesting. Just a few tiny little stitches. Alright, and then we're going to just do some basic branching. I think I've got the camera set up to where I like it. So really the, the key is to get yourself up to a speed on the sewing machine that feels fairly comfortable where you can move smoothly and just kind of stay there. So I'm just going to curl. And this is where I get to tell you the secret of all backtracking by human beings important to just be really relaxed and almost not care if your backtrack hits right on the line because if you're trying real hard to backtrack and you miss it looks like you were trying real hard to backtrack and you miss but if you just feel relaxed and you backtrack and you miss it looks pretty natural kind of ribbony it makes actually gives your curling a little bit more depth. I'm going to backtrack down here and go off this one. That's what makes this such a great fill, is you never get stuck in a hole. You just backtrack to where you need to go. And you can always put just little spiky branches in there if you need to whatever to get your space even. Let's here. I think some quilters call this design filigree. Whoops. Oh no. I hope that didn't affect the... I'll just edit that out. Uh. a little tricky to do it on film because I can't get right on top of it like I like to. I usually rest my head on the sewing machine as I do this sort of thing. break. I'm going to put my gloves on. I forgot my gloves and it really hurts my arm muscles if I don't have something to help grip that slippery quilt. Okay, gloves are on. five-inch block I marked on here with a pretty even, organic-looking, curly fill.
without an extended table. So my machine is just on a little personal folding table with no, but it's not set in the table. <coughs> and I just have a little Supreme slider on there. Hangs off the edge. Works in a pinch. One of my mentors says there's no time for reasons or excuses. If you want to do something, you just do it. Just make it happen. So if you don't have an extended table or you don't have the perfect machine, you know what? Just take the first steps. Start, and you'll be amazed at what happens. To Next thing you know, you'll be sporting your own fancy sewing machine and a set-in table. good excuse not to start something that you want to try. None.